everybody, this is Dennis at Boulder Sounds. Welcome to the video of the Virginal Library for Contact 3 and 4. So right now you're looking at the front panel of the contact interface. And before I go through the various buttons and show you the different controls, I'll just give you an idea of what the Virginal sounds like from low to high very slowly. And of course, you can listen to some much more musical audio demos at the Boulder website. And each key was sampled chromatically in two round robins, and there are no loops, so it's just the natural decay of the virginal note until it dies out. So if you take a look at the front panel, you see we have a button up here that says octave on and off. The default position is off. <laughs> And if I turn it on, you get this nice octave layer. Which sort of gives you a, a double virginal effect. Now this is artificially created. The virginal that I sampled did not have this feature available. Also, the octave on and off button can be triggered by a key switch down here in red. So I click on C0, and uh, the octave button is turned on. And so in midstream, while I'm playing, I can turn that on. So this can be very handy if you have a sequence al already recorded, and you just want to try it with different orchestrations. You can trigger the key switch note on and off to see what it sounds like in real time. And you'll also notice a button called Loot, and Loot on or off. When you turn this button on, we have an emulation of a lute stop, which was common on harpsichords. So the sound's a lot darker. There's a very quick decay, like you would have on a lute from the Renaissance or Baroque period. Now this is totally artificially created. The virginal did not have a lute stop. And again, that can be controlled by the key switch down here on the left, which is the C-sharp key marked in red. And you can turn that on and off as well. Okay, so now there's another important button here. It says Velocity, and that is now off. Since the virginal was a non-velocity instrument, meaning no matter how hard you hit the key, the volume was still the same of each note, you would get the same volume. However, if we turn this on, then the contact instrument no longer ignores incoming velocity data. So you can create crescendos or play softer. Um, Try to demonstrate it with my wonderful technique here. So as you can see, the virginal is now responding to my playing the keys harder or softer. Another very flexible feature we have here on the front panel is key release, and you see a knob which controls the volume of the key release. So on the virginal, after you release the key, you do get a definite noise. However, if you don't want that noise, we can control that. You just turn the knob all the way to the left, and it says release off, so we have no noise now on the release of the key. 
you want to go the other way and increase the key release, we can go all the way up to plus 12 dB. Which adds, you know, quite a bit of rustic realism. Oh, and one thing I failed to mention earlier in the video is the octave button and the lute button. They can both be used simultaneously. So here's octaves. And here's the lute with the octaves. Kind of an interesting effect. And now I'm going to move on to the other buttons on the right side of the front panel. We have EQ button on and off. If you just click on the button, it takes you to the corresponding three band EQ page and you can tweak from there. If you want to turn it off, just click it again. If you'd like to navigate back to the main page, we have a main men drop down menu on the lower right hand part of the screen. Just click on main page and there you are. If you'd like to go to space off, this is the space IR convolution reverb. And uh, just clicking on it turns it on and brings you to the corresponding page. We have different spaces to choose from. Space one through space five. Space five is a larger space. So one through five increases from smaller to larger. And uh, the space size of each IR convolution can be increased or decreased with this menu right below it. On the amount, let me go back to a medium space reverb. You can change the amount of the return depending on how dry or wet you'd like it. So I'm at minus 12 dB, move it up. And so on, and you can make that soaking wet if you wish. And on the Mac, if I just uh, command click the knob, it will go back to its its default setting, minus 12 dB. Also off to the left, you can save your presets for the space IR convolutions. So you can tweak those parameters and save them in preset one through six. They'll be ready to go next time you want to use the instrument. And below that, we have reverb. Now what reverb does is it uses contacts built in reverb algorithm. So it's much more CPU efficient. Um, I wouldn't say it sounds quite as realistic as the IR convolutions, but nevertheless, it's there for you to use, and the parameters are off to the right to tweak as you wish. And again, you can save and recall those settings. Another very nice feature on the drop-down menu is it says About Page. You click on that, and you've got an online manual for using the instrument. So very convenient that you don't have to refer to a separate PDF. Another feature is we have a micro tuning tab down here. So you click on the tab and as you can see we have a drop down menu with various tuning tables. Uh, early music enthusiasts will find this to be very useful for different temperaments. This is something I don't want to go into in detail because it's a very complex subject. However, notice off to the right, you should choose the key of the piece you're playing and also the amount that the tuning table is going to affect the temperament. If the amount is set to zero, it won't do anything. So now I'd like to briefly show you the prepared virginal. You'll notice the buttons here that say harmonic and cloth stop. The cloth samples came from placing a felt cloth on the virginal strings to try to create a lute stop emulation. Well that was pretty much a failure. However, out of every failure is a possibility for something good. And here we are using the cloth stop samples. So the samples are not, they're all each slightly different than each other. Some have longer decays, some are slightly more muted, etc., all the way up to the 
And then if you want to hear the harmonics, you can click on that. We can turn off the cloth stop. And this was created by reaching inside the virginal, touching the node point on the string, and then playing the key. So this is somewhat of an unorthodox approach to playing a virginal. But I thought, I thought it might be interesting. Here's with a little sustain pedal down. So if I combine that with the cloth stop, kind of an interesting effect. Or maybe not, depending on your taste. Okay, and now with the prepared virginal, here's where some of the cool stuff comes in. If you click on the edit button right here, you notice off to the right it says I'm editing harmonics. So I'm going to turn off the cloth stop. I'm going to turn on the harmonics and the editing parameters now. I can tune it differently. I can change the attack on the envelope. There's a number of other parameters, volume, pan control, the release, sustain pedal, on or off. So I can do that independently with both the harmonics and the cloth stop. So if I turn the harmonic off and I turn the cloth stop back on, and on the edit button now you can see I'm editing the cloth stop. Oh, harmonic still on, sorry. If I change the uh, tuning of the cloth stop samples, just randomly. Turn the harmonics on. A lot of great sound. However, there's some great presets here. So if I click example one, these were made by Bo Clausen, who did the contact scripting. Give you an example of some of these. And you'll notice the key switch buttons over here, so I can turn the cloth on or off, as well as the harmonics. Great for real time playing. And of course, we have the uh, space convolutions to work with that we had previously in the regular version. Go back to the main page. Here's uh, another example. I think if I were to make sounds like this back in the Renaissance, they probably would have burned me at the stake. And here's the sixth example. So there you have it, the prepared virginal. Thanks very much for watching the video, and best wishes to you from Boulder, Colorado.